Oh my god, you guys, we have a major boo boo. We went to the wrong airport this early, so we're calling the grab now to go to the right airport. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. It's too early. Too, too early. So early guys, this is our earliest, I think it's the earliest time I've ever been to an airport actually. 3 a.m. and the taxi ride only took half an hour instead of one hour because it was going so fast and there was no traffic. So we were quite lucky. Where's our flight info? 6.45 you said? It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh my god, you guys, we have a major boo boo. We went to the wrong airport this early. So we're calling the grab now to go to the right airport. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is. Oh my gosh, it's okay. Because we were wondering, like, where the hell is our flight? Where we, look, we kept on looking the board for the flight boards and everything, but we couldn't find it. Guys, luckily we decided to leave very early this morning because we wanted to enjoy some time at the lounge. Probably not gonna happen now because we had to travel for another hour to get to this airport. Oh, it's gonna happen. Lounge is gonna happen. Trust me. Oh my god, that was a scary mistake. Wow, Fabio, we did that. <laughs> Taught us a big lesson. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so now Thai Lion Air 645, we're going to... There's a lot of hold up. Yeah, there was a lot of hold ups here because they thought that I had a sharp knife in my luggage. Obviously, I didn't. I told them we've been traveling to three countries for the same luggage for three weeks. I don't know what knife you guys are saying. Anyway, lounge time. We'll tell you everything about what happened. Okay guys, we finally made it in. Oh my gosh, it what was a trouble. Intense. First, what happened was, Yanni and Fabio went to the wrong airport. <laughs> we went to the BKK one and I was so excited. I was even Googling like, oh, the best lounge. One of the best lounges actually was in Bangkok. So I was so excited and we called Grab and we went to Bangkok airport. Only when we got to the counter, we realized that was the wrong airport because there was no Yangon flight until 7 and our flight is at 6 and we were so confused, we were like, what? did it move? like, we, we just checked on their phone, like, but no, it's still at 6 asked the information and it told us that hmm, you're in the wrong airport so... <laughs> how dumb is that? <laughs> my crazy mind was like so, what's the next solution now, Yanni? what's the solution now? my first solution I thought of was let's, we need to buy a new ticket to fly from this airport not knowing we could literally take the cab to the other airport. <laughs> yes, luckily it was only an hour away and we left very early in the morning. So we had plenty of time for this inconvenience there. to happen. So now we're here. We went to the first counter and they said, oh, excuse me, you need to go over there. So we went there. There was no lineup yet, but we, we, since we were late, there was this huge family, huge. horde of people. A thousand there. luggages. Oh my god, a lot, like literally a whole clan, a thousand luggages. They were about, I, I would say 12. 12 or at least. more. Yeah. 12 or more. Yeah, three Double suitcases <laughs> each exactly. person. Three. I think so, they're moving like out of the country. So now we had to wait for at least 30 minutes and I was just like literally, really? This day is not starting, like my God is testing yeah. me. Then we get to the counter finally after half an oh hour. Oh my God, yes. And they said, Fabio, you need a visa for Myanmar. And I was like, no, I read online that I can get it upon arrival. And they're like, Because he's no. Italian and I'm Canadian, so I had to apply and I got my visa. So they just approved the law in October last year, saying that now we can get it as we arrive. 
yeah, but for Italians, here yeah. she yeah. showed me a screenshot that says that I needed a bit the Myanmar he had government to Google, yeah. article that says that now we can do that. Yeah. So then they let me go, and now we're in this beautiful lounge. We're gonna take you around. I desperately need coffee and food. Me too. And anyway, a chamomile tea. You guys love this so much. Lounge tour time. Lounge tour. <laughs> So we arrived at the Coral Lounge and this is what we have in front of us. It's a beautiful lounge, I love the decoration here, couches are so comfy and there's plenty of space. Okay, for the food, looks like they have a lot more option here. Well, at least I see more, but it's bigger counter, it's huge. Stir-fried rice noodle, rice, <gasps> fish. Mm. We haven't been eating a lot of fish, I'm excited for that. Oh, pasta. They have mussels this early morning at 5 a.m. And then some more pastries, coffees, and juice. Um, that's it for the tour. I'm, I'm hungry. We really need some coffee, so we're gonna go now. Bye. You're gonna eat now, Fabio. We've been through a lot this morning. A lot, a lot. So I got the fish and some noodle. I'm gonna eat more. And let me just say, in Thailand, they have like the best coffee. Better than can Canada. Don't you agree? Doesn't take much. <laughs> <laughs> Our time in the lounge has come to an end. We are off to the gate. So now, one of the problem now is if Fabio will get visa upon arrival in Myanmar. We always just make it right on time. I thought we spent way too much time at the lounge, but we're here. We made it! All right, we finally made it on board, you guys, and this flight should be an hour and a half, an hour, 25 minutes, maybe an hour and a half, to Yangon, Myanmar. And, oh, check it out, we got leg room. <laughs> we got situated in the exit, so it's perfect. Like God said, you've struggled enough today. You deserve a nice leg room. <laughs> Thank you. Now, we're just gonna pray that I will get my visa when I land. Otherwise, you know what? I'm just gonna take a vacation at the airport for four days. Yeah, that's what it is. We are finally arrived here in uh, Myanmar. It's 7.15 a.m. and uh, they give us this health declaration card to fill in. Yanni almost left his MacBook in the plane. Thank God he remembered. Well, that's just a reason to buy a new one. <laughs> Hi guys, so we just landed. We took a grab to our hostel. We are staying at a hostel again. The paper was just for us to fill up if we have and we need to put a check if we have symptoms but of course obviously we don't so we just gave the paper and Fabi's visa was very fast very very fast basically I went to the counter there was no one there just one person and uh, I just gave him my passport he asked me for the money he just gave me back my passport with a, with a visa printed on so easy as that then I went to immigration and the lady was on the phone the whole time she didn't even look at me I just gave her, her my passport with the visa stamped on. She gave it back to me. She said, go. And I went. <laughs> <laughs> Very easy going country so far. But, um, and then when we went out, we grabbed cash. We exchanged the cash, all our bought, all our Thai money. And then we bought a SIM card. Now it's a one hour drive from the airport and it's $7. Guys, we're here. This is home, Fabio. <laughs> yeah, that one. Wow, TripAdvisor certified excellent. So this is home for the next four days. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Greeted with a nice refreshment. So now we have a map and you know how much I love maps and she was so kind to explain everything to us, all the things we should see in Yangon. So we're very excited to explore but first let's check out the room and then uh, maybe get a little nap because it's been a long day. Perfect, Guys, so we are here at the SAT Hostel, SAT Hostel, and uh, it's recommended by TripAdvisor. This is our room tour. But on the second floor, and as soon as you walk in, there's this sliding door. Then there are two beds. One that is a little bit bigger, and that's gonna be for myself, because I'm older, right, Yanni? I'll take it. And this that is a bit smaller. And it's perfect for Yanni because it's very, very skinny. Thank you. Okay, I'll take the small bed then. <laughs> Walls are this green <laughs> color and just a bunch of curtains. Very simple. We have a bathroom over there outside. And that's going to be our home for four days. Very simple. I like it. We're, and we're very close downtown as well. So this is our view. Like the chaos of it all. After two hour nap, we are ready to explore the city. 